I stopped working for I became jobless. <laughs> a lot has happened, a lot has changed. Exciting news, very terrible bad news. But we are still thriving. All that said is done, all that's done. The human mind is negatively biased, and the reason it's negatively biased is because it's a protective mechanism. You know, when you look at um, human neurodevelopment, in fact, human development at all, we haven't really changed much in thousands of years. We, we really haven't changed. Yeah. Think of how different the world was in 300 years ago, let alone thousands of years. Our brain, and the reason it's negatively biased, is because it's a protective mechanism. Like, if... If, for example, um, we walk out into the, we walk into the forest and it's full of wolves and those wolves could kill us, uh, we get away from that situation and survive. The next time we walk into the forest, we're going to be very wary and think negatively. There's probably wolves in there because it protects us. You know, that's that is an important protective me mechanism. As is anxiety. You know, adrenaline and all these things. You know, it's a fight or flight. It's a deal with a problem that's in front of us. And you know, we retain memories because memories allow us to learn from the past and make decisions in the present that make our future more certain. You know, self-preservation is like the number one goal for humans as individuals and the race. We need to survive. And so we survive by learning. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> it's been so long. And I mean so long that I have vlogged. <sighs> I said to pick up my camera today. I think the last time I did like a very personal vlog, like Berlin living vlog, it's probably since March of this year. <laughs> and since then, a lot has happened. A lot has changed. Exciting news. Very terrible bad news. But we are still thriving. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my vlog, my name is Dima and... I'm a lifestyle, travel, vibes, content creator. Yeah, I currently live in Berlin and I work as a software engineer. So guys, <laughs> since March, the last personal up-close vlog I did was before I traveled to Malta. I visited Malta. I really enjoyed it. And while I was there, I don't think I gave you guys like a personal gist that why I had to do like a lot of travel. So... Prior to traveling to Malta, I think that was like the last week of my work with Choco. I stopped working for Choco. I became jobless. <laughs> so I chose to leave the company. Very good company. We left on a very great time. It was just a personal decision for me to do. Um, okay, I'll just say it. I think I was just looking for something different. I was looking for a new challenge. I've been with them for like three years and... Three years and that four months or so. So I just wanted to check out what else is out there. And I also wanted to get like a higher position. Um, I wanted to, you know, challenge myself to apply for senior position roles. And the good news is, yes, I was jobless for three months. But I was able to get a new offer where I work as a so senior software engineer now. Yay! <laughs> but prior to that, I had like three months break. So I didn't work. April, May, June, and even half of July. <laughs> it was such a great time to rest because I was still battling with depression, anxiety as of that time. But after Malta, when I came back, I also traveled to Valencia, Spain, with one of my friends that came from Canada. I still will give you guys the vlog. I've given you guys the Malta vlog. I'm still going to. The Valencia vlog is like four or five different times because we did like restaurant reviews up to like four restaurant reviews and i just enjoyed my time in valencia when i came back from valencia i still had to travel to brussels <laughs> i went with brussels with her and one of my friends maggie if you're a regular on the vlog you would know who maggie is she has come to berlin like two or three times and i've also visited her in netherlands and when i came back from brussels I think I stayed like a month, April, May. I didn't travel anywhere, May. I was still doing tons of interviews. Guys, I did series of interviews. You see, tech interviews are not fun. Actually, like this, that 
the tech company or the tech industry rather is moving crazy so i was and and the truth is my stay here in berlin was also being jeopardized because for me to remain here in berlin i need to be working for a company so i needed to get a job in germany or a company that has an entity in germany for me to for my visa to still be valid so it was a lot of tension and i need to get this anyways uh, thank god it ended in good news so when we came back from okay may i didn't travel anyway it was tons of interview and luckily for me i got the offer in may so i started interviewing in april i got the offer may ending i think around 28th of may or so but i told the company i wanted to start mid july because i still wanted to rest and luckily i had like enough savings to take care of my needs then in june we traveled i traveled to porto with my friends it's a girl's trip i still have that vlog i'll share with you guys and then i also traveled to cyprus but i didn't vlog that one so after all this trip <laughs> i now had to resume work in in middle of july so the company is super great they are very nice and um yeah so far it's been going well um you know like imposter syndrome initially when i started because it was like my first first time being a senior engineer so you know you would unknowingly put unsurmountable pressure on yourself because you need to prove that title in front of your role the senior software engineer but i would say so far so good i'm still on probation in germany when you start a new job you're going to be on probation for six months so if after the six months the company thinks you're doing well then they would will be off probation if not they'll probably bid you farewell so we are hoping we make it through probation <sighs> something else very tragic and terrible happened but i don't think i'm ready to share it yet but when i'm ready you guys will know about it um what else has been happening um no, I think, yeah, I've been consistent on YouTube or the other channel, my finance channel. Um, um, I stayed again, becoming consistent like around that July. And yeah. So today I was writing my to do list for the new week that is coming and I put start vlogging again. <laughs> and I just, as I was trying to arrange my room, I'm like, what the heck? Just pick up the vlog and start vlogging again. So if you missed me, I'm here. Some of you even reached out to me on Instagram. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. And I'm going to try to be more consistent. I'll probably either start with a day, day in the live vlog or just start continue with weekly Berlin vlogs. So today, um, this one is just going to be a day in the live vlog. I have a lot going on today. Today, I have an interview. <laughs> Very funny Saturday, right? But I have an interview. And after that, I we have movie that we're going to watch all of us all my berlin friends <laughs> so we have movies that we're a movie that we're going to i think it's a very scary movie they love scary movies i don't know why but they do so after that we go for drinks and mm -hmm, i think that's it but then another thing that i'm doing is i'm currently on a keto challenge 60 days keto challenge i'm trying to you know create a better and healthier relationship with food. I realize that whenever I'm emotional, either too happy, too sad, depressed, or having anxiety, I suppress it with food. So now on a keto diet, I eat lesser, I, and I don't feel very hungry, and I also eat healthier. So that's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to cultivate that culture, right? So um, I just finished working out, and I want to have my bath, and then, um, prepare for the interview. The interview is by two. So just get ready and be prepared. So mm, let's see. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And... Guys, so I don't know if you seen this. Your Instagram, I don't know if they also showed it on TikTok, but is this thing that is trending and says it whitens your teeth. I fell for it. This is serious scam. I bought it, I tried it, and on the advert, they would tell you that, oh, you just need only 30 seconds, and then it would whiten your teeth. I don't even know why I feel for it. Like, but I bought it, and this is terrible. So if you've been seeing it, and you're tempted to buy it, don't. 
after I finished beating it, I wanted to share just some new skincare additional and swapping. Um, before I used to make use of just hyaluronic acid, hyaluronic acid. I still have one that's pronounced it. But these days I make use of this Siam product. It's really nice. It's snail, yes, snail and water essence. So sometimes when maybe I finish baiting ball, I've been gisting and then the water on my face dries up. There's this product my friend introduced me to this Avene Thermal Water. So where you just I just spray it on my face before going in with this. <sighs> the advantage of having a friend that is into skincare is just that when brands send send their products, you benefit because they cannot finish all the products themselves. I've gotten quite a lot of free products from Vani, my friend. <laughs> So let me show you guys this one. Let me bring it. Okay, so uh, this one is a clay mask to help tighten your pores. I really like it. I use it sometimes once a week. I can't open it because my hand is slippery. But the name is Mary and May. It's really nice. And then she also gave me this Mary and May cream. It has nice in mind in it. It's really nice as well. This is what the, I'm almost done with it. <laughs> and then she also gave me this toner. It's quite big. So what's it? So what I do is maybe think twice a week. I just get out one and then use it to wipe my face. And um, it's really good as well. And then this one is a cleansing balm. When you have makeup on, they will always advise you to do double cleansing. So this is the first one I go in with before using my um, face soap, which is Neutrogena. She was also the one that introduced me to it and it's so lovely. So now, after going in with this team, the next thing I do is to use this Azalean Booster. I don't even know. I always look at the Rare, rare Viewfinder. This one is almost, I'm almost out of this one, so what I do is I just pour a little bit, yeah, it's almost finished, almost. Yeah. But since I made this switch, ah, my face has seen better days, like, in the face improvement, like, my face became clearer. The dark spots, especially on this side, reduced drastically. Even this side before, I wish I could find it before and show you. I don't know. And then I go with this Vita B3. Um, she was also the one that gave me the first one. When you finish, because I love the result I got from it, I bought it. But then she advised I should use it at night. I don't even know what I'm using this morning. She said it works better at night. So yeah. Once I'm done with this, I don't do so much, honestly. Once I'm done with this, I'll just apply my moisturizer and then my sunscreen. So I still use CeraVe moisturizer during the day. And then at night, she also gave me this one. I ran out of it, so I had to buy a lot of This Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cream. That's what I use at night, but during the day, I use CeraVe as my moisturizer. And when I'm done, I use my Nivea sunscreen. I love it. It's cheap and I love the glow it gives my skin when I'm done applying it. Yep, for perfumes, I actually got I got new perfumes as birthday gift. I know that if you know me very well, you know that I'm a very huge perfume freak. I got two new ones that I really love for as birthday well gift. I did a review on this channel. You can check them out. All my perfumes, my most complimented perfumes. I think it's the last two or three videos on this channel. And then my friend, when she came from Canada, she got me, I think, up to three or four of these body works. Really nice. So instead of spraying my perfumes at home, which now makes them last longer, <laughs> I just use these body works as my at home. 
um, for this and you used to actually last long so I'm going to quickly make breakfast for breakfast I'm going to have wrap and the wrap is just egg wrap really um, I bought this very nice high protein low carbs wrap so I'll just fry egg put vegetables and eat everything it's usually very nice These are kind of like I mean, most of the things. Most of the things. You wouldn't believe that I bought this shirt too purposely because I love how comfortable it is. So when I wash this one, I wear the other one. <laughs> Currently, I can't cook because this gear is cleaning. It's hard to clean the house, so I cannot do anything. <laughs> the last time you guys saw her, I think she was on dreadlocks. You were yeah. dreads, yeah. That was the last vlog. Now, if we even skip the part where I was on low cut, yeah, no, I posted put the picture when I was on low cut. Yeah, she rocked, she rocked, she rocked low cut. I ah. go Yana Bram, but no, she loves low cut. Ooh. I'm from Yana Bram, not ashamed of it. Put she... my picture of low cut there. Now I'm on Tukuru. <laughs> Why did you tell it? Tukuru. <laughs> I'm moving. I'm having hair crisis. <laughs> So I'm moving through different hair stages very fast. Tell them what motivated you to do this. this. It's Nancy Sime. She's I love her. She wore no, Nancy Sime is for the local. I'm talking of this Otuku. It's not you, Amanda. Okay, no, no, no. So it went like this. <laughs> because local was because I was annoyed. No, first of all, I'm married. Ginger needs to do local. Yeah. And then the styles of local came from before me or Nancy Sime. Okay. Then after local, I was on local too. I was trying to continue local, and I started reading um, Americana. Do you understand romanticizing if I lose hair and all of the American women that carry their natural hair? Said, okay, maybe not bad. Let me try and go on the natural journey. And now went again. I saw that she see me again. She wore Otukuru to um, head this. I said, okay, maybe this one be really nice. I did it. Look, it's nice. <laughs> This thing became very expensive to the dreadlocks. That is why she got angry. Yeah, it vex. And then, you know the point? The vex matched with when I really cut her hair. Yeah. And it looked really nice. So I said, what? The next time, the next day. I it's true. She you just cut her The hair. next day, I cut it. That's why I said I'm a hair crisis. I have moved so fast this year. <laughs> Alright, people. I'll wait for her to finish cleaning before I can use the kitchen. I'm almost done. She's almost done. Yeah. back in Berlin. Summer was good. Was it long? No, it was very short. But I finished the interview. I couldn't vlog it. But it went really well. Like really, really, really well. I'm expecting to hear good news next week. I'll let you guys know what the interview was about later on. Maybe in the next vlog when I get the good news. But <sighs> yeah. Now I want to dress up. I don't know what to wear. We are going to see a movie. I think I said it in the beginning of the vlog. And then from there, we are going for drinks. But the weather is cold now in Berlin. And I exactly don't know what to pick from my wardrobe. I don't know the look I want to go for. Because the truth is, during summer, I took down all my winter clothes downstairs. So what I have here are mostly summer clothes. So I'm trying to see if maybe I can just pick a trouser, throw on a simple top, and wear a jacket. But I don't know how terrible the cold would be in the night. So I wanted to rock I wanted to rock this blazer, wear this blazer, then wear a short and then wear a boot. But on the second on the second thought I'm like, mm, if I wear a short now, my legs might freeze. And I don't have strength to go downstairs to bring Winter coats, or should I? 
this jacket, this one, I wore it yesterday when I went to drive. I, I've resumed driving again. Though. I passed my driving theory class. I forgot that. See, a lot has really, really happened. But I'll just be dropping it at, at, along the line. I passed my driving theory exam. So I have the practical coming soon. They haven't fixed a date for me yet. But I have to because I've not driven since like March or so. So my tutor advised that I continue practicing so I don't forget the things I've learned. So yesterday I went for one driving practice. I have another one next two weeks. Wednesday or Friday? I'm not sure. But yeah. So I think... Should I go for this leather pant? Wear this leather pant. Look for a crop top that will go with it. And then throw on a jacket. Maybe wear this. No, I can't wear leather on leather. I'll look like there you go. So I'm trying to find. Ooh, I'm going to the cinema, so it's probably going to be cold. Hmm. Okay, see this see this leather top now. Should I wear it with leather pants? Let look funny. I don't even know. Let look funny. Or should I should just pair it with a, a jean trouser? A plain jean trouser. And then take this this both. Alright, let me get dressed and show you what I have. Okay, so far, this is what is given. Leather on leather. <laughs> I don't even know why it's funny to me, but so now I'm trying to think. Should I maybe pair it with this coat? Look at this coat there. This coat has really tried though. It's over two years old now. So maybe we can go like this. Just wear it with a boot. I don't want to wear any makeup. Because it's late and I wore makeup yesterday and I'm going to wear makeup on Tuesday because I want to shoot a sit down video. So I want my face to be fresh. But what do you guys think? Or I can change it and wear a jean jacket. I feel like if I wear a jean jacket, it will be it will probably now turn it into like casual, casual. Oh my god, the mirror. Nah. Mm -mm. Nah. So, is it that I go with this black and white? Or. I go with this one. Ah, oh, there's this very nice coat I have downstairs. Let me go and get it. <laughs> because these two, I have overworn them so much. And they don't have pockets. I think that's why I don't really like them. Let me go downstairs and get some clothes. Guys, I just go back and I'm going to wear this one. But then I found 50 euros inside my pocket. <laughs> Story. <laughs> so if you write this, I should bring it. Let's go and buy chicken. See? It's so nice. Yeah. All right, so let me wear my shoe and then address my hair because this hair needs to loosen it this week. It has really tried. I can't tell you guys how long I've been carrying this hair. Well, yeah, this is how we're going to do. It doesn't look bad at all. I'm going to wear a boot on my leg. I'll see you guys when we're out. I'm already late. Okay, this is the final look. See, please, I just brought these coats from downstairs. I'll hang them when I'm back. Okay. The room will still be tidy. So I ended up wearing sneakers because I don't know the worker we're going to be working. I don't want to wear heels that will make me regret bringing it. But I think it looks decent. And then these glasses, I actually got them from Shein. I look good. Let's go. Alright, see us people. We're off. I forgot that you could see Kebaba is not making hair. I fit in very well. Do you know the cinema we're going to? Because I already said it's post down. Cinema. Alright. Guys, we are currently at the cinema. So 
I'm waiting for them to buy snacks. I can't buy anyone because of keto. I can't buy anything. <laughs> See? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, I don't want anything. Thank you. <laughs> I'm fine. Just water. <laughs> Just water. <laughs> so we're, waiting, we're waiting for them to come. See, see there's a man. Hi, so long. my name is Greg. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. I haven't even watched the first one. <laughs> Where are we going to? I'm gonna get something to drink. What do you want to drink? Mm -hmm. Show ya. Show me the car you ain't telling me ya. The way you tell me you want me down. Done it. I done this before I get started. I won't catch you don't know I'm starting. Cause you love to have them all around. Calling me sweet and telling me you need me. And I'm from a serious side. Give me the same what I want. Cause you a bad man you should own. We're done with the movie and now we're heading to the bar to just go drink. The movie was quite interesting. Take care. Mm. The movie was quite interesting but a bit scary for me. They love scary movies and according to them, it's not scary. The name of the movie is The Nun 2. This is the part 2. So, I'll see you guys there. Yeah.